Hey guys, welcome back. Today in this video, we'll see how we can create an AMI, that is a merchant machine image from the snapshot and store that image into the S3 bucket. So before we do the required setups, let's see in diagram how and what we are going to do. So first, we are going to create a snapshot from the volume. So we are going to create a snapshot first and that snapshot from this snapshot, we are going to create an image. So this image will be create. This will be our AMI. So this snapshot will now contain all the volume informations. It will contain all the volume informations and this volume informations we are going to convert to an AMI. Now, once we convert it to the AMI and then we'll store that image into the S3 bucket. So let's see in action how we can do the entire setup. First, go to the volume from where you want to create a snapshot. Okay. So I have, if I go here, I have only one volume with 30 gigs of storage, right? 30 gigs of storage. EBS volume is 30 gigs. Now, what I can do, select this one action and create a snapshot so just give a snapshot name suppose i'll give us demo snapshot and nothing else you have to provide a tag and then that's all create snapshot so what it will do it will just create a snapshot out of that and you can see here uh, from this volume it is created right so if i go below here we have another uh, in this uh, nav bar we can see the snapshot here just click the snapshot see here we have the snapshot created with the volume size 30 gigs, right? And you can see here the snapshot status is sage as pending. It will take a while to create the snapshot. By the time I'm just pausing the video and once it is done, we'll start. So now we can see the snapshot status is completed. And we can see here when it was created, the started, the date and time, everything. Now what we can do, we can create image out of this snapshot so select this one go ahead and create image from the snapshot select so our image so you have to just give image name i'll give as demo image something like this you can give a name as for the your applications or the project you are working right now just give a descriptions demo image and all these things whatever is required select and I'm just going to keep as it is the default. Let's go ahead and create the image. So once the image is created, you can go to this AMI image section. Under AMI, you'll find the image, demo image, and here the image ID. All these things we can find. And this is the source from where it was created, the owner, everything. You can see it here. Right. Now, what you can do. We need this AMI ID to store this image into the S3 bucket. So for that, we are going to use some API, some EC2 APIs from where we can get this image and upload into the S3 bucket. So let's see what are these APIs. So if you go to the AWS EC2 documentations, there you'll find store and restore an AMI using S3 bucket. So here there are a few APIs. If you go, go a little below here, you'll find that these are three APIs, right? Create store image task, store the AMI in an S3 bucket, describe the image and restore the image. So these are the three APIs which you can use to create, describe and restore the image. And if you go below here, they have also given some examples how we can use this one okay how we can use this one so now what i can do suppose we have to store this image for that what we need we need the ami id right and then the bucket name right let's copy this particular snippet particular command let's try to modify this something let me just open one notepad So, in this notepad, what I'm going to do, 
let's do some changes to this. I don't want this. Let me keep it in one line, right? So what I need first, I need the AMI ID, right? I need the AMI ID. Let's go to the image and select this. This is the AMI ID, right? Copy this AMI ID. Go there. Paste it, right? We got the AMI. ID. Now we have to put the bucket name where you want to upload the file, right? So let's get the bucket name. I have created one bucket. Let's go to the S3 section. So under this S3, you can see I have created a bucket called image demo bucket one, right? Let's click this one. You can see here there is no data or no object inside the bucket. This is completely clean, right? Now let's go here. Now let's get the bucket name. Okay. So we are going to upload into this image demo bucket one. Let's copy this one. So what do you need? You have to let me just make you understand here what I'm going to use. I'm going to use AWS command and make sure that you have the latest AWS CLI is installed in your laptop or on the server from where you are going to execute this command. So once you install the AWS CLI, let me show you. Uh, in my laptop, I have already installed. So I can go to the CMD command prompt. Okay. So okay. Now if I just do execute AWS version, so it will give us the which version of AWS CLI is installed 2.17.13 and with Python. 3.11.9 version is installed. And for AWS, you have to install the Python. The prerequisite is the Python to be installed. So once you install the AWS CLI, just execute this command. And this is the parent command. You have to execute the AWS EC2, the service, which the service name, because the AMI comes under the EC2 services, right? So you have to use this EC2 command. And then you have to provide the API name. And we are going to pass in image ID and the bucket. So image ID, which image you want to copy or upload and to where? To the bucket, right? Let's copy that. I hope you understood this entire command. Now let's go ahead. Just copy it. So we used AWS EC2, create store image task and all these things. Now let's hit enter. So after successfully uploaded, you will get one JSON style object key. Like, see, the object key is AMI. This is the AMI ID dot bin. So, this is the file which is now uploaded into the bucket. Now, if I go to the bucket, see, and just reload this bucket, refresh it. So, it will take some time to get uploaded that snapshot or that image into the bucket. Now, it took few seconds right to upload this file now you can see the image is now uploaded into our bucket so if you want to reuse this image you can download this image to that machines and to that that server you can just use it i hope you understood clearly how we can create image and upload it this into the s3 bucket so if you have any doubt or any concerns, please do write me in the comment sections below. I'll try to answer your calls. Thank you.